What's up guys, it is JTB Gaming here, and welcome, welcome to another episode of the Making Minnesota United an MLS Powerhouse series. This is obviously the series where, simply enough, we're trying to make Minnesota United an MLS Powerhouse. Don't know when the journey is going to end, but I know we're going to win the MLS Cup multiple, multiple times. So obviously each episode covers the course of five games, so in this episode you're going to get five games, but there's also some off-the-field stuff happening as well. Like I said, we're starting things off with loaning out Kevin Michaels to Heidenheim over in Germany. Michaels, he played for us last game, he actually performed very well, however, he is young, promising, so I want to loan him out, let him get some experience elsewhere, so he'll be going on loan for the rest of the year. And we're now hosting the LA Galaxy at the Allianz Field. And here's the lineup, centers in goal, Boxel, Carmo, center back, Spetnair, Parker, outside back, Segura's the defensive mid, Reynoso, Thompson, center mids, Gauthier, Rios are on the wings, and Marie is the main man up top. Let's get into the gameplay. So in the 61st minute, LA Galaxy do have quite a good chance balls whipped in, however Boxel wins it, and Reynoso collects the ball in open space, he is lethal in this situation, plays it out wide to Gauthier. He cuts it inside, plays the ball into Amaria, Amaria flicks it onto Arias from the top of the box, Composure, puts it past the keeper, we go up 1-0. And that would actually be the only goal of the game, something that really doesn't happen a lot with this team within the series is 1-0 wins and we get it from that goal from Arias. We're now traveling to PayPal Park to face off against the San Jose Earthquakes. The lineup is the exact same as it was for the last game. Here are the highlights. In the 19th minute, San Jose have the ball in our attacking area. Parker is able to just body it away. However, they do still keep the ball. They're starting to get some numbers forward. We're starting to get some numbers back. However, it doesn't look like it is going to be enough. Parker gets beat on the wing. That's crucial. Open space in the box. Plays it across. They go up 1-0. 21st minute. I mean, it was good attack by them. Can't complain. Thankfully, there's still a lot of game time left to play. In the 37th minute, ball gets played out wide to Metnair back into Reynoso. Reynoso plays it in Segura. Questionable ball there, but keeps possession. Ball goes out wide to Parker. Parker to Thompson. Thompson attacks the space. Keeps possession of the ball. Good. Plays it into Amaria. Amaria back to Segura. Segura to Reynoso. With his left foot, somehow, somehow gets it past the keeper. We're tied up 1-1 one one in the 39th minute. In the 54th minute, we're just kind of possessing the ball a little bit, switching the field, taking advantage of our numbers, and Gauthier gets the ball from Reynoso, plays it into Amaria, holds it up there, plays it for Reynoso, out wide to Gauthier yet again. Reynoso makes a brilliant run past the defense, plays it into him, and obviously he's going to convert from that situation. Reynoso has been on fire this year, of course he's going to score that. We go up 2-1. In the 67th minute, Carmo saves our butt after a, what could have been a two-on-one. Setnir then just kind of plays it away. However, it goes right to Reynoso. Jumps up, wins the ball into Gauthier. Gauthier then just goes past one man, goes past another. From the top, just above the top of the box, curls it past the goalkeeper. Where we are now up 3-1 to one in the 69th minute. In the 81st minute, ball gets switched out wide to Metnair. He loses the ball though, however, and they are now have an opportunity to counter us. Boxel is trying to get out there, but he's an older player, so he can't get there. They get the ball top of the box, open, just open man in the box, puts it past the keeper. I mean, defense needs to be doing better there. They're, they're, they might be able to come back, which is a little bit concerning. 88th minute, we're now pressing their goalkeeper. Well, Amaria is, because he's an absolute workhorse for us. Segura gets the ball, wins it, kind of. Ball goes played to Carmo, Carmo to Segura, Segura to Thompson. Plays it back into Segura, plays to find Amaria. Amaria plays it through to Reynoso, what is pretty much becoming the signature of this team, the Amaria assisting Reynoso. He puts it past the keeper, 4-2, sealing the game, we're going to win this one. And we did, obviously 4-2, obviously that hat trick from Reynoso definitely helps. We're now hosting another game at the Allianz Field, this time it is Sporting Kansas City. So, lineup is the exact same as it always is, I mean... If we're winning games, there's no point in trying to rotate the squad. No, we're not going to switch up anything. Let's just keep winning. 17th minute, Reynoso has the ball, plays it into Segura. Segura tries to play it out wide. It is intercepted. And now Kansas City is just counterattacking, which is a little bit concerning. 
Karma was definitely well out of position. Yep, they find the striker. I mean, what a beautiful finish. Like, as much as I hate the fact that, yes, we did just concede the first goal of the game. I mean, that finish, I mean, I don't normally show, you know, like, the second replay for all these goals unless they're really good. But, I mean, we have to watch the second replay of this goal. I mean, yes, it is against us. But, I mean, just the ability to find that runner and then... I mean, beautiful ball, first time volley past Zentner. I mean, it's a beautiful goal. So, I mean, just wow. I mean, could Zentner have done better there? Maybe, but, I mean, how are you supposed to defend that? So now, we're down 1-0. 27th minute, they have a corner. Zentner is able to collect the ball after a little bit of a deflection. He throws it to Gauthier. Gauthier is then able to beat his main, kind of. I mean, he keeps possession of the ball, wasn't clean, but goes past another, though. However, we have numbers going forward. And Maria makes a brilliant off-the-shoulder run. Composure in the box. Puts it past the keeper. 1-1 one one in the 29th minute. Honestly, my favorite thing about Amory is positioning. He always seems to be in the right position in those crucial moments. Which is why he has been continuously been our starter. In the 34th minute row, however, we're not done trying to score. Amory gets the ball in the attacking area. Actually dribbles past a couple players. A little bit unusual for him. Goes past the players. Brought down in the box. Blatant and obvious penalty. Thankfully, the referee gave it to us. I mean, actually quite impressive from Amory. You don't see this a lot from him, just dribbling past players. But yeah, I mean, obvious penalty. I mean, that guy's just salty. He got dribbled past by our striker. And of course, who else to take it except Reynoso? Going to our favorite spot, top right middle. Keeper dives the right way, but he goes low. We go up now, 2-1. to one. And just a couple of minutes later, Gauthier gets the ball. He plays it through to Amaria. Will he be able to get put on a little bit more magic? Holds it up, holds it up. Oh, I mean, he, he's a unit. Gets past one, gets past two. Crosses it back post. Arias, first attempt doesn't go. Ball's cleared away, but falls right to Reynoso, who's in a perfect position. Puts it past the keeper. 3-1 to one in the 42nd minute now. And right after the kickoff, something big is going to happen again. We are able to win the ball back, thankfully. A little, little perfect triangle there from our boys right there. Gauthier is then attacking the defense. Amaria, beautiful run, beautiful ball. Heads it past one. He's able to get the volley off before the keeper touches it. Four to one up, just before halftime. And that would actually be it. There would be no other goal scored in that second half. I mean, Amaria and Reynoso are really starting to become two of my favorite players I've used on FIFA this year. I mean, Reynoso is just making all these chances happen, either creating or scoring himself. And Maria always seems to be in the perfect position. And I'm just, I'm just loving life right now. Dwayne Slate Claire will be going on a short loan move to Atletico Mineiro over in Brazil. Obviously, Zentner is our number one. St. Clair, I want to use him in the future, maybe, but not right now. So I'm going to loan him out. He'll still be playing, so it won't be horrible. We are now traveling to PNC Stadium to face off against the Houston Dynamo. We are playing a 4-3-3. Same thing as always. Let's get into the game. So fourth minute, they have a goal kick. Keeper plays it long. Parker goes up for the ball. Doesn't win the first one. Houston actually do. Now they, they have numbers going forward. And they just, yeah, humiliate me. Horrible defending by me. It's on the players. Center makes the first save, can't make the second. Yeah, that one's not the player's fault. That is fully on me. I just horrible positioning on using box. Well, it happens a lot, unfortunately. So we'll have to find a way to improve that, hopefully going forward. Now in the 42nd minute, ball is played up. Thompson somehow wins the ball. Finds the feet of Amaria, holds it up for Reynoso. Reynoso plays it through to Gossier. He's got time and space. What's he going to do? He's going to curl around the keeper. They make the first save. However, ball deflects, and it is a handball by Houston. We earn a penalty. Thankfully, I mean, that was a really tough angle for Gauthier to finish. I'm not going to lie, but I mean, we'll take the penalty. And, of course, it's Reynoso stepping up. Where else are we going? Top right middle. Ball gets shot. Keeper goes completely the wrong way. We'll take it. Not a great pen, not going to lie, but 44th minute, we'll take the 1-1 one -one tie. In the 67th minute, just kind of lose the ball in a not favorable position, and now Houston have numbers going forward. Seems to be our pretty much our struggle all year long. And yep, took a bad angle with Parker. Ball was played across. Would have liked to have someone been marking him, but I should have done better with Parker there. We're now down 2-1 in the 69th minute. 
but that would be it. We would end up losing a game, uh, something that doesn't really happen to us recently as of late. But, I mean, our only chance came from a penalty, so offensively, we probably should have done better. Defensively, should have done better, but, I mean, we'll, we'll take it. It's not the end of the world. Adrian Hanu has been loaned out. He will be joining German side Fjord for the rest of the season. Obviously, with how good Amory is playing and pretty much solidifying himself as our number one striker, there's no need to keep Hanu on the bench, so we'll loan him out. And Will Trapp will also be heading out on loan. He is going to SC Braga, who we bought Carmo from last episode. I mean, he just hasn't really been fitting in the squad. Defensive mid is locked up by Segura. He's not really good enough center mid for me personally, so... We'll loan him out for the rest of the season. We'll reevaluate where he fits in the team next year. We are now traveling to Lumen Field, another one of the Scandi MLS stadiums, to face off against the Seattle Sounders. Pretty much our main rivals at this point. The lineup is the same as it always is. No, no changes. Let's get into the game. 18th minute, ball is played out wide to Parker. Parker plays it up to Arias and doesn't beat his man, and we are in much danger of being counterattacked, and they're doing quite well. They're just moving the ball well. Foxhole can't get across there. They just have numbers forward. I mean, we made the first save, but it falls right to his head. You can't do anything about that. They go up 1-0 in the 20th minute. In the 43rd minute, their keeper plays the ball long. Karma was able to, thankfully, win the ball up top. Arias collects it at his feet. Plays the ball in Thompson. Thompson plays the ball into Amaria. Amaria to Segura. Segura plays it back to Amaria somehow. Good positioning by Amaria. Good ball from Segura. Puts it past the keeper. We're tied heading into half. And literally from the halftime goal. Or, or no, I said, I, uh, we'll have to take a second look at the clock. Yeah, this is directly from our last goal that we just scored. Seattle are now have a chance. They're going forward. And they are going forward quite well. We just, I mean... Kickoff glitch, you just can't win the ball off of them whenever this happens. Ball's in a dangerous area. Ball gets whipped in. Carmo goes to clear it, doesn't quite get there. And it ends up hitting his hand as we clear it. I mean, this is only because FIFA's kickoff glitch, you can just like attack. So now we have to defend the penalty. Montero steps up to take it, and I guess the wrong way. Zender gets made a fool. They go up 2 1. I mean, a little bit late, but before halftime. In the 48th minute, get the ball. We're just playing it smart, playing it cool. Reynoso makes one man miss, now is running at the defense, beats another man. Thankfully, the referee called it a foul, Segura's on the free kick. Play it short to Thompson, Thompson collects the ball, plays it into Reynoso, Reynoso plays it back across to Amaria. Perfectly executed free kick right there, excellent team goal. And we're tied up 2-2 in the 50th minute. But that would be it for the game. It actually ended up being a 2-2 draw. I mean, all the action happened between the you know 45th and 50th minute. So, we don't lose any position in the table, but if this was really was a six-pointer, if we could have beat them, we would be so much higher in the table. So yeah, like I said, I mean, they're just right behind us. It's only three points separating us. And, you know, Dynamo obviously are there. We just lost two, so... Things might be catching up to us, but I think we just, you know, need to keep playing our brand, keep playing our style, we'll hopefully be able to improve. And guys, that is it for today's episode of the Making Minnesota United in MLS Powerhouse. I mean, things, not at all our greatest episode. Um, had some good, had some bad, made some moves that may or may not hurt us, may or may not help us. We'll see how all that works. If you guys want to see the unedited gameplay, I've been posting that on my channel as well. If all the all the gameplay from the video from the video you, like this video, if you're watching this day came out. All the gameplay is going to come out at midnight the next day, so you can, that way if you want to see the entire game, you can feel free to do so. Thank you guys so much for watching, and it is JTB signing off.